everyone and welcome to my channel. This reading is for the week ahead, April 14th through the 20th, 2024. If you're not familiar with my readings or my channel, I do weekly readings, new moon and full moon readings, pick a card readings, and shorts for everybody on my channel. So have some fun exploring. You never know what you might find. So let's see if we can get some messages here using the Goddess Guidance cards. For the week ahead, let's see what the messages are for the week ahead for everybody. What is the main energy for the week ahead, April 14th through the 20th? All right, and then I have the Soul Luna cards as well. Let's see, this is the tarot. Let's see if we can get two cards. There's one, two. If I need more, I always grab off to the side, but let's see what the energy is. We have Pele, Divine Passion. Be honest with yourself. What is your heart's true desire? So it could be that this week, you're really going to have to listen to yourself, okay? Your heart knows what it needs to do. It knows what it wants as well, right? Like Selena Gomez, that one song, The Heart Wants What It Wants. So this is about really trusting that voice that you hear within yourself, right? Own that claim it for yourself what is it that you truly truly want because that's where your answer is and if there's any kind i'm hearing if there's any kind of feeling of resistance then that's that's also an answer if you feel resistance in your body in your mind in your heart right then that's telling that's very telling so this is asking you to trust yourself you know what your heart wants you have ideas, passions, and things maybe with this energy that you want to pursue. And this is about you trusting that, right? Which your heart, which makes your heart sing in a way. What what is what is it that inspires you? So if you have creative projects you want to pursue, if there's something that's really firing you up inside on a spiritual level, on a you know, heart-based level, you know, this is saying trust what you feel. So many times we avoid that out of duty or what we perceive as obligation or duty and we ignore our heart all the damn time. This is saying, no, you know, you know what you need to do. You know what feels right to you. Because when you're not doing what your heart desires, the opposite of that is resistance. You, you end up feeling resistance instead. And that's, not, that's never healthy. Resistance can also bring stress, anxiety worry fear frustration you know it, it does accumulate and become those things because you're resisting the natural pull push and pull of your soul you see um so let's see what the tarot says all right so we have the fool and the yeah look at that queen of swords okay so gemini libra aquarius and i love the fool here because it's telling you to take a risk it's telling you to take a risk on something that maybe you're passionate about, maybe something that you have an idea for. And this is saying, be honest with yourself because your heart knows what's up. Your, your heart knows the truth. You're going to have to trust that and roll with it and take the risk where you need to. Explore the options and the possibilities with the fool. See where it can take you. See where it can lead you to or what it can lead you to. And it might help you embark on something new right if you've never tried something before but you've been curious about it passionate about it uh, wanting to maybe test the waters with it you never know where it can lead the thing with the fool is that it's i always call it a bravery test right because he's taking a journey he's exploring new territory he doesn't know where it's going to lead but he goes anyway and he trusts himself and he trusts the divine's guidance to kind of like maybe allow the it all to unfold and he doesn't take fear with him when he goes and takes that leap of faith. It's all about trusting. It's a trust fall. That's what it is. It's basically a trust fall to take this journey into unknown territory, out of one's comfort zone, out of what you're familiar with, and explore. So it could be that this week you're going to have to trust yourself to take the journey, explore something new, follow your heart, pursue a passion, um, follow the path of least resistance right because when it makes your heart sing there's no resistance in that 
So again, follow the path of least resistance, even if, even if it takes you out of your comfort zone, but it's so that way you can expand and grow and explore further beyond your now. And there's something out there that needs exploration, but the only way you're going to find out is if you trust yourself to do it. Queen of Swords, taking that idea, following your truth, it's very much in alignment with um, with this card because this is about following the heart and this is also about following one's truth and discernment as well. So when the heart and mind are in alignment, that is, that is discernment, you see? That is discernment. Then you have the owl energy which speaks of wisdom. So you might have to make a choice this week to pursue something that you're really, you know, serious about or that you hold dear on your heart or that you're passionate about. You're going to have to trust yourself on it. If there's something that you've been thinking about, you're going to have to trust yourself to take that leap. Leap into the unknown, but do it bravely, not having any fear attached to the outcome or what it might lead to. Again, it's it's a bravery test because you don't know where it's going to lead, but you trust yourself to go and do it anyway. Queen of Swords is about decision making, discernment, seeing things with clarity, standing in one's truth, owning that truth, claiming it and being resolute in that energy and not backing down once you've decided. Also, if there's anything that's clouding your judgment on what it is that you're contemplating doing, there's, there's energy of clarity that's coming through with the Queen of Swords because she holds a sword of truth. It helps her to see things clearly, trust her intuition in order to perceive um, and read between the lines of a scenario. So if you're worried about if you're making the right choice, trust that discernment will be provided this week to assist you with that. So you can take the leap. So you can trust yourself into unknown territory. So you can pursue other things beyond your present because it looks like the fool's ready to take a journey into new energy, into new territory. But in order to kind of take the journey into this new energy that's approaching you with it, you have to roll with it. You have to go with it. You have to trust yourself and leap. Right? What do they say? Leap and the net shall appear. Right? Do it and ask for forgiveness later type of thing is what this is saying. Trust your ideas. Trust your heart in relation to those ideas. I feel that you're in alignment this week to, to gather knowledge, information, understanding, discernment, wisdom, downloads, insight clarity where you need it in order to pursue what spirit is kind of like nudging you to pursue and i'm getting fire sign energy i'm getting nudges from spirit and inspiration or divine um inspired action with the divine passion card of pele something is is brewing okay like a volcano something's brewing underneath the surface and it's ready to come to fruition but it's going to take you taking that first step to see it through make it happen and also finish what you start. It's a vibe too. So let's see if we can get a final oracle card here for you. I'm using the, what is the magical times? Yeah, magical times and empowerment cards. Let's see. Oh, all right. Well, look at that. Faith. I mean, isn't that very much tied into the fool card who takes a leap of faith? Faith. Believe you are not alone. Spirit is right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. Interestingly enough, we have the little dogs here, right? I don't know why that crocodile is there. I'm not sure what that means in this depiction of the fool, but we have the little loyal energy of the dog, which is very much aligned, or I think, uh, or in tune with spirit guide energy, right? And it's kind of hinting at, you know, you're on this journey, you're in the, you're taking a leap of faith into the unknown per se, but you're not alone. You have companionship right here with the little dog at your side, right? So yeah, it says, believe you're not alone. Spirit's right beside you. Ask for guidance and it will come. So if you need, again, guidance, if you need discernment, if you need to know with clarity what the right move is to make this week, connect with spirit. You might get that download you need. You might get that information. You might get that piece of communication that comes through in some magical way 
to show you the guidance that you need. So let's see what the angel number is, right? Show you the guidance that you need, yes, in order to take that leap of faith, okay? And pursue that passion or that choice or that endeavor. All right, so let's see what the angel number is. If you're not familiar with my channel, I do roll the dice for angel numbers. These angel numbers can a lot of times confirm what is already said in the reading or provide you with an additional message that you need personally in your journey at the moment. I don't recommend a source because it could be one you don't like. I never want to imply that one source is better over another. There's many on the internet. I say trust your intuition. Take that journey. Explore. You never know what other signs, synchronicities, and serendipity you might find. I say take the journey. Research the numbers for yourself and find that magic because it is out there. And we want to give everybody a chance to find that magic for themselves. So I say, please, if you can, refrain from putting the number interpretation in the comment section for the same reason. We want to give everybody a chance to find that magic uh, when they take their journey for themselves to research these numbers. So let's see what the angel number is for you for the week ahead. All right, we have five. Five. One. And nine. So five. One nine is your angel number. I'm going to put that number in the screen. Look it up. See what it brings to you. If you feel that this reading has helped you and connected for you in some magical way, please do let me know in the comment section down below. Like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Consider joining my channel membership for exclusive content and readings I put out for members only. You could also visit my Etsy store. Link is down below in the description box. I have Starseed t-shirts I designed myself, handmade crystal jewelry I make by hand, as well as personal readings upon my availability. So much love to you wherever you are. Take care of yourself and always keep shining.